Hi, Leo Moon. Thank you so much for being here. I am Divine Pim Care at 144. Very happy, grateful, and blessed to bring you this reading. This reading is designed for those who have their moon sign in the zodiac sign of Leo, unlimited to anyone who should find this message or should this message find you. For this reading, I will be doing a three card spread, Mind, Body, and Spirit, using my Cryptozoology card deck. I'm going to clarify those three cards using the Tarot of a Moon Garden deck. And at the end of your reading, I will do an overall card using the Moonology Oracle cards. I've already pre-shuffled all of the decks. I'm going to shuffle the first deck just a few more times, split the deck, and then we will begin your reading. But before we do that, I would like to give focus to the beautiful background here as we are giving honor, recognition, and thanks to Libra Moons who are being featured in the Spotlight series for this round of readings. Embracing this beautiful, charming, socializing, lighthearted, balanced energy. I have been guided <laughs> to share wonderful jokes with each of the zodiac signs. The traditional information I will leave in the description box for you to check out. Your joke, Leo Moons. And I'm improvising here. I am currently at a telly out of town and uh, making do with what I have. So just bear with me here. I appreciate it. Thank you. Your joke here. Using my silver Sharpie. <laughs> Why did the cow cross the road to get to the other side? <laughs> these are so corny. I can't, I can't help but laugh at these because I'm, I just, I like to make myself laugh and then hearing these when I say them back. I hope you like this joke. I'll just put it that way. And do share this with your friends, with your family, with your loved ones. Get your laugh on. All right, I hope you enjoyed that. <laughs> Let's go ahead and we'll move on when we get to shuffling. <laughs> oh, shoot. For Leo Moons. <laughs> I do hope that with this energy that you are able to keep yourself in a good balanced state as we move forward. We are coming into a new moon energy that is taking place currently that energy will last for the next five days or so and the new moon is also in cancer so this being a really good time to go deep deep within and really get in touch with ourselves our emotions and assessing and observing to set good intentions on what it is that we do want more of rather than what we don't want all right, Leo Moon. So for your mind card, for your first card, we have the Nine of Cups. Beautiful card. So this being about a wish coming true and through for you. We have, I believe it's Kraken, the pronunciation here. And this being an energy of Pisces with this being Cups, Water Energy, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, and a Fucus. So... This being in your mentality, also being connected to the cup energy that I was just speaking on with Cancer and the new moon coming into Cancer, being in Cancer, I should say. This is a whirlwind of emotion and, and miracle here that's taking place. I feel this is something huge that is coming in and through for you. I'm seeing the ship here and the way that it's taking up the amount of the card here i do feel this is about you overcoming for some reason i'm just getting this as you being these tentacles here being this crake in here and taking the action that's necessary on some old tired ass ancient ship that could be connected to like ways of being ways of thinking ways of living that have probably taken up a huge amount of space in your life in your atmosphere this being in the mental i do feel it may be connected to particular people or situations that have just um wanted to make a certain presence constantly constantly and you really coming through and stepping up for yourself and taking ownership and taking your power back that water is yours that's your land that's your area that's your territory 
And I do feel that this ship was kind of uh, wearing out its welcome. So you, uh, and I do feel this is like a sneak up on the come up. I'm getting the Trojan horse energy that's coming through where you just kind of have been real quiet and silent with the Leo energy that you do have able to do this. You may have other placements in your chart that are assisting these energies that are coming through, but you just being real quiet and observant and, um, strong Libra energy is coming through with me saying that connected to the chariot energy I was getting the chariot card and that being a card of seven having to do with balance you maintaining your integrity staying true staying balanced while I feel the ship had some kind of effect when it came to your mental state you finally being fed up with it and being over it and taking your power back realizing that you're in your element this is your home this is your place and unwanted guests can get the hell out. Your wish is coming true and through because of the steps that you're taking for yourself to heal your mental space, to really feel for yourself what it is that you want. And because you're doing this, again, that wish is coming true and through for you. Nine energy is ninth house energy of Sagittarius. But then also Jupiter blessings coming through, Jupiter being the ruler of Sagittarius. Thank you, Jupiter. Nine energy is also about completion and you bringing uh, this ship energy to an end here. Moving into a new beginning. This nine of cups coming right before the ten of cups. Pisces energy, I'm getting expansive energy. So you being that expansive one using those tentacles and taking action. Yeah. And I do feel also too seeing the sun here. It was the ship was just all in the way. All in the way. And with this ship and you taking this ship down, that sun that sunlight is able to come through even more even more it was coming through for you already but i do feel what just seeing the ship and the way that it's designed there was a little bit of light here a little bit of light there a little bit of this a little bit of that now it's like a whole lot of boom let's see what we have for your body card for your second card eight of wands you communicating and making <laughs> and making your presence known Notice that these, this is Hydra. I love this card. This is a beautiful card here. And I feel that this is you realizing your power. You realizing your power, you possibly being bullied. Being bullied, being harassed, being treated in a certain way that's unfair, it's unkind. As I'm seeing this knight here and the force of that sword going up towards Hydra, that being part of an aggressive behavior that I felt that you've been dealing with for quite a while. Eights being your energy here and then also prosperity with the eighth month of August. August, we're coming into August here very soon here too. And this reading is timeless, so do take what resonates. But um, that eight being very significant, I do feel it's also tied to the infinity symbol of as above, so as below. But what I was going to say here is that this Hydra energy here and Hydra being connected to the 88 constellations here too as well. This looking very similar to these tentacles where I do feel this is about that magician energy from within yourself. And you being able to transform and do the work that's necessary in order for you to take care of business. I do feel that also too, this is about... It's like a poking the bear type energy. You minding your own business, you doing what it is that you want to do to reach your goals, seeing your wish come true. You have things that you've got going on. And so any outside distractions that were, again, taking up a large portion or trying to of your space and your energy here, you really going within with this water energy and expanding and expanding beyond anything that you realize that you really truly could have been from within your soul and something coming about here connected to this night where you just totally triggered triggered here and manifest into this hydra to 
overcome this energy here. Notice the power that's within this energy here versus this night here. Where this night is still, it's almost like this night is still talking shit. Because that's all they have. That's all they have and that's all they know. Holding this tiny little sword up to this beautiful energy of Hydra. And I say beautiful because I feel this is you coming from beneath the surface. And that's what I was feeling here. And not only are you coming from beneath the surface, but you're going from Kraken to Hydra here. We're going from tentacles to dragon snakes. And I feel that this is something that you just, you really didn't want to do, but I feel like it's necessary. It was necessary. And if this hasn't happened, this, I do feel strongly, it will be happening for you. Eight of Wands is connected to hard work but then also communication and swiftness and quick, quick action. That wand's energy is your energy. And then Sagittarius, Aries, and a few kids. You have the power to overcome. And I was getting counting energy, like one, two, three, four, five. I'm noticing here we have nine and eight. Very strong energy of Sagittarius. So it very well could be that this last full moon that we had that was in Sagittarius as we're coming into this new moon here in Cancer being significant transformative energy for you in a heightened glow up pink and purple energy very significant those could be some of your favorite colors Gemini energy is coming through here too, with that being polarity energy to Sagittarius, but I'm also seeing the yellow energy connected to the pink and the purple here. A lot of this energy I'm getting being also to crown chakra energy, where you have an elevated, that being a part of the transformation, an elevated state and greater clarity and awareness of truth. And then the pink also being connected to Libra energy that was coming through. So you may be connecting or have connected or this being a uh, Libra energy here. But pink also being a color of the heart chakra. Purple being a very strong color for Sagittarius and a fucus. So um, a fucus energy wanting to come through pretty strongly too. That being a very healing energy. That's also super transformative, a very magical energy here. But you definitely speaking your truth, speaking on the hard work that you have done, your accomplishments, and what it is that you will stand for and what you won't stand for. Let's see what we have for your spirit card. Four of Cups, Ghoul. And I do feel this is a part of that energy that's taking place with the night here. Where I'm getting that this Four of Cups is just connected to a very careless energy here. And I'm seeing the RIP where you're putting an end to any kind of energy that you've experienced where I do feel it's connected to this Knight of Swords. And then the ship, it's about overcoming. It's about overcoming. And that's what I'm getting for this four. They're having to do with your stability and emotion. This is a different energy that I'm getting for four cups, where four cups in more traditional decks represents um, boredom of some sort. I'm not getting that. I'm getting this also too as being a part of an old part of you. And you seeing a reflective energy that was triggering for you, helping you to see the truth from within yourself, 
where it is that you come from, where it is that you are now, and taking action as far as where it is that you want to go and that being here. As within, so is without. Cancerian energy being here, that being just more of that new moon energy and that transformative energy that's coming through. The full moon and Sag and seeing here. And then we have that Cancerian energy with that new moon and setting good intentions. So putting something to rest. And I do feel it's about this ghoul energy from within your spirit. Whatever was outside of you that helped you to, that triggered you to be able to come into the strength and this power here. You really seeing why it is that a lot of this took place is because of what was taking place from within you. And you really taking a stand for yourself, fighting for yourself. So that this type of energy that was within you that is in the process, I do feel, of healing and receiving more love and nurturance can be put to an end here. So that you're no longer seeing a reflective energy outside of you that's pertaining to this particular energy that's coming through here. So with that, the new moon and this being a good time for setting intention, I'm getting ritual energy that's coming through where you can really put this to a completion energy. And we do have that here with the nine. And then even with the eight and the magician energy connected to the infinity symbol and you being able to use the tools that you have, but these being like mega wonderful tools, mega, mega tools that with that triggering, it's almost like instantaneous of you being able to use what it is that's necessary to make a change, a very drastic change in your life here. And then we have more cups energy, that being water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and a few kiss. And so for all these representations of the cards, I will leave the um, information in the description box on them. And do feel free to take a look and do some of your own research to get more in depth to the representations of these cards here we have kraken hydra and ghoul so this even could have been like a haunting type energy where they may have been doing a lot of spying let me put this over here a lot of spying very strong scorpionic energy is coming through too and when i say spying it's like over the top out of this world type spying like <laughs> in all kinds of ways that they could imagine because someone I do feel you may have had someone who was very obsessed with you seeing the the ship here just how big that is but you realizing the power you're bigger than this you're bigger than what it is outside of you that was wanting to just bring something not good to your atmosphere that I do feel that um, a lot of you have tried to move away from or you have moved away from. But you just putting more notice to a situation here to bring about completion and your wish here to this being about manifesting here. Let's get to your clarifiers. We'll clarify the Nine of Cups. No longer in the dark. No longer needing to hold anything in. This being a part of that triggering energy. And then also Virgo energy, this being a card of Virgo, the Hermit in reverse. This is another nine. We have alignment of the nine energy. And I do feel this is supportive energy from Sagittarius. Even though this is a Virgo energy, this is a nine card here. Ninth house energy of Sagittarius and then also Jupiter. 
So you putting it out to the universe, your wishes and the actions that you're taking to stand for those wishes and what you wish to see for yourself and the universe meeting you with what it is that you're putting out. You putting light to your transformation and how strong it is that you are with this being in reverse here too. And we also have more full moon energy here. For a lot of you, I do feel this is about divine. Shining the light. You following your truth here in the darkness. Coming into that transformation. And the light being shined for you. And so with this being in reverse, I do feel this is about that triggering step to help you to come out of this darkness here with this transformation and that light shining you following that light and coming out out of that ocean here <laughs> to protect your territory your element here and i say that because of the tentacles here in the water even though this is a cuts card I'm a little tight on space here too as well. So we'll just try to make sure we can see everything. All right, let's get to your next clarifier. We'll clarify the Eight of Wands. Clarify the There's quite a few cards here and they all wanted to come out. So I'll quickly, briefly, touch over these we have the knight of staffs this being you this being the defense action of you taking a stand for yourself here defending your true element here of the fire where i do feel a lot of you may have um very strong water in your chart possibly scorpio you being underestimated and I feel you're just bringing it to light. You being assisted and supported in this here. Again, Knight of Staffs, you returning possibly to a past, energy of past person here. And we have that same energy here with this person being on this side here, the West energy of past energy and also transformative energy. So pretty much this energy here, volunteering in this lifetime here to trigger you to come into greater power. I do feel that our thanks is in order, even though a lot of you may not feel like it. But um, that's what they, that's part of the reason that they were here and that they're here is to help you to come into this greater awareness and power to be able to stand strong when it comes to yourself and take action and defend what it is that you have, what it is that you've worked for, what it is that you've gained. And returning back to put this to an end, completion energy. And in you doing this, your wish coming true and through. This is part of the chariot energy. The card of seven and the major arcana. Page of cups. So you may be seeing hot air balloons here. I'm getting this as being truth about a child. So it may to, it may also be too that in standing up for yourself, you're also standing up for children. Page of Cups, Page Energy being a younger energy. And just seeing the innocence here of this butterfly lady here. And this is not gender specific. Just sitting there sipping, enjoying, peaceful. Yeah. And also, too, because of the action that you're taking here, seeing that Ace of Cups there, I do feel this is also a significant blessing that is for the Page of Cup energy. I was also getting a sense of being naive. 
when it came to a particular person or a situation. Possibly giving off that perception as you being naive, but you're far from it. And that being the reason I feel that possibly this Knight of Swords was doing what they were doing, still believing <laughs> that they can hold up their sword to this Hydra energy and be successful in whatever it is they're trying to do here. But with this being right next to the Page of Cups, I'm just getting this being more about defending when it comes to a child. Cups energy is water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and Aphicus. I also feel too that there's a protective abundance here for a child or children that's coming towards the, ch for, towards the child and it being about that as above, so below energy. And Knight of Swords energy may be attempting to block abundance that's coming through, but it's coming from the heavens. And so are you. Coming from the heavens here. And delivering this cup of love here, this wonderful emotion. I don't see this as going away. I do feel like this is coming towards. And we have more full moon energy here. Queen of Cups. Yep. So with the Queen of Cups being next to the Page of Cups, I am getting mother energy and this being child energy. You taking a stand and speaking on truth here, connected to the Eight of Wands and that power from within yourself here. Very strong, loving, beautiful, graceful, pure energy. I'm getting Cancerian energy again and that being connected here to that healing energy of reflective energy coming from the Four of Cups. Connected to the stability when it comes to love and unconditional love. You reflecting from within on what it is that you need to work on for yourself because of what you're seeing on the outside, putting that to a rest. You're full of love here. I'm just getting that. And this is not gender specific. Again, uh, male or female. It's just the delicate energy that's coming through with the queen. And this is empress energy where all four queens make up the empress energy. So strong mothering energy, very grounded, kind hearted, genuine, intuitive. And what I have here, oh, this is so beautiful. Seeing this cup here, I'm getting this as being love sent. Like love prayers and love wishes that are coming through to the children who may feel alone, like they're in their own world, like they don't have support. Seeing the dolphin here too, but it's at a distance. This could be also too about the inner child from within yourself here and that going back to the child that you may have or seeing children who may be mistreated here. But this all coming back to that reflective energy here, possibly um, you just doing some reflection here from within and doing that healing. This is more water energy. This is a lot of good emotion here. We have cups here, cups here, cups here, and cups here. Full moon energy here. So behind the queen of cups, we have the two of staffs in reverse. King of Swords in reverse. Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups is about walking away from what no longer serves. There being a lack of emotion connected to this King of Swords in reverse. The King of Swords in reverse being a very blunt energy. Using the tools of the King of Swords for a negative aspect. Swords being air energy, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. 
this also being emperor energy with this being in reverse this is father energy here too so we have a reversal king of swords upright queen of cups who is also in between this page of cup energy and this king of sword in reverse protective energy here that i'm getting and that being connected to that cup that's being sent to this page of cups here not very nice energy one who can be deceitful i'm hearing a liar who can be manipulative possibly a narcissist walking away from this entire situation eight energy connected to this eight energy eight of wands eight of cups this is more cups and there being communication about the situation this two of staffs in reverse it's next to this king of swords i feel this is about you making a final decision to speak, to realize the power from within yourself and overcome being triggered and this coming from within here and displaying on the outer and this being the truth of the situation here. Let's clarify the four of cups. Clarify the Four of Cups. And what I'm getting with no cards coming out right now, that energy of that reflective outside energy that I do feel is connected to this King of Swords in reverse, is that they don't want to be seen for the truth of who it is that they are. Clarify the Four of Cups. We have the Seven of Pentacles and the Six of Cups in reverse. So this being about putting investment into that reflective energy, that this being a part of a connection, a Six of Cups connection that is no longer, that's reflective energy that was designed to come into your life. Six of Cups is, it can be about um, nostalgic, childlike energy that I do feel is connected to you and this all happening for that energy of that page of cups from within yourself but the reflective story on the outside being a little bit different in a in a certain way for you and do take what resonates but um, this all being about a bigger design here and you just coming along this person this king of swords I do feel um, that's connected to the goal here this being a six of cups soulmate, a soulmate from the past. And we were getting that here with them being in that past West transformative energy here. That you put a good amount of investment into. I do feel with that new moon, with that six of cups being in reverse and you doing the work that's necessary with this being in your spirit energy here this is also about setting intentions being able to release what no longer serves standing up for yourself and being strong releasing any kind of energies that were a disservice and not just to you but to a child or children here really taking a stand on this and setting good intentions Having learned from a situation here, this now being over. Learning from possible past investment. 
And this, I feel with the holding on, there being a triggering moment that really helped you to step up, to come out of your shell, of the darkness here, and just boom, like your fire is just like boom. Pinnacles energy is Earth energy, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. And then seven energy is that Libra energy. Seventh house energy. But then sevens are also about angels letting you know that you're on the right path. And that what you put in, you're definitely going to get out. We do have that with the eights that we're coming through pretty strongly. So I do feel this is also too about that balance energy and with you being triggered, you putting more of that power and energy into yourself to assist and support those who can use it, especially yourself and continuing to stay true and in integrity. Doing so, you're able to see a return on your investment, but then also be in a good position with release to create space to set new intentions, planting good seeds that are going to be more beneficial. Doing the shadow work. And I will say, when I was on this particular part of the read, there was a lot of activity that was going on outside of me. Like I heard things underneath me, things outside of the door. There was a lot of ruckus. So I do feel that this particular energy with this manipulation and that scorpionic energy and the way that I had felt earlier about them being able to maneuver and spy on you energetically, doing certain things that are just not okay and not of integrity that being connected to that ruckus that was going on. And that could be, you know, that type of energy that they brought into your atmosphere and the reason why there's an Eight of Cups here. And that this person was also coming through as this Knight of Swords here. All right, let's get to your moon card to finalize your reading for Leo Moons. Bring love into the situation. New moon in Aquarius. And as soon as I said that, that made me think of that Ace of Cups being held there by the Queen of Cups. That I'm getting connected very strongly to this parachute. This hot air balloon. I said parachute. That may be significant. That may be significant. That may be significant. The hot air balloon connected to this cup here and you continuing to send love. It could be too. This also being about this inner child from within this person here. And you seeing them for the truth of who it is that they are and why it is that they do what they do. Sending forgiveness but also moving on. But most definitely, I am getting this being about a cup being sent to help nurture and embrace a child that may be experiencing a part of what it is that you were experiencing here with this King of Swords. So that they're continuing to receive a good flow of love here. You can see how small that cup is too. Helping them with a bigger cup here. So that just wanted to be said here. Let me grab the reading. And Aquarius energy is also polarity energy for you. So that being a part of that shadow work. Connected to the Four of Cups here and the Ghoul. Okay. 
bring love into the situation. Aquarius is all about progress and modern modernity. So this is the time to move forward. The new moon in Aquarius card means no looking back. Change is on its way and it could come quickly. Whether you get the change you want depends both on whether you believe you can have it and how much you're relying on others to bring it to you. This card comes with the suggestion that you may need to do things independently on your own, but be loving, not too pragmatic. Time may be of the essence when this card comes up. Aquarius energy has an electric feel to it. Certainly, there is a sense that you need to let go of the past and move towards your future as soon as possible. Attune to the moon. Explore the idea that it's not what you know, but whom you know. Additional meanings for this card. You need to be more detached from the situation. Thinking outside the box will bring the solution. More pragmatism is called for. Improve your karma by doing some charitable work. The teaching. Aquarius is a sign of invention, modern advances, and technology and humanity. Its energy is a little brittle. It's individual. Mm, I'm going to stop right there because what I'm getting, this has been coming through a lot. Okay, so that scorpionic energy that I was just speaking on, I do feel this is a part of the manipulation. I don't feel, I feel that this is more for this energy here. So what I'm going to do, we're going to pull this here and claim a card for your energy. I'm not even going to finish reading that card because I do feel with that spy energy, they're spying so much that it's coming through in your reading here. So let me go ahead and grab another card for you. I just was not feeling that. And as I kept reading it, all I could think about was this energy here and them needing to let you go so we're going to give you a card here and i'm going to speak the queen of cups and then also the nine of cups look at that and we're going to see what all of these are and i feel that this with this coming over this energy here and the six of cups and that being over 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 your investment and in new intentions Let's see what we have. Luck is on your side. New moon in Sagittarius. New moon. Not just a full moon. New moon. You got double support here. Have faith in your dreams. Waxing crescent moon. The energy is gaining momentum waxing moon so look at the different moon energies here this is all about your intentions and you setting those good intentions here and that being the reason they fell right on the seven of pentacles here this is beautiful and they're all purple most of them we got a good shade of purple that's coming through connected to the sagittarius and a fucus energy that is here for you in this reading All right, so I'm going to feel this being the first one. I'm going to read this one. And then we'll see how we're feeling with the remaining because I don't want to keep your reading too long here. But I do feel this was necessary in order for you. And it's almost like you overcoming this being a part of this energy here where this energy notice the size and just with what it is that they have been giving with that ship it's energetic with that ship here but pretending and coming off like they're like this that spy energy just being so strong but you really overcoming and coming into your power with this hydra energy especially with this being in the body very powerful energy here for you and, uh, and that just speaks to the triggering energy too all right so let me go ahead and grab the reading for this card here And then with these both being waxing energies, I would just say to absorb this energy and kind of feel into 
the guidance that's being here. Have faith in your dreams. The energy is gaining momentum. Trust. We're going to read this one for you. Luck is on your side. No moon in Sagittarius. Whatever is coming your way, it looks set to put a smile on your face. The new moon in Sagittarius can mark the restart of fun after a period of feeling low. The energy is adventurous and even willing to take a few risks. But be careful you don't bet the farm on something here as the Wheel of Fortune is still spinning. This card is about exploring life metaphorically by exchanging big ideas with others or just thinking about your own philosophies. Perhaps it's time to change your mind about something important. It can also signal that a trip away is coming up, if that's something you're working to achieve. But the overall message of this card is that whatever happens next will be some sort of gift, even if that simply means widening your world view. This is so beautiful. Attune to the moon by counting your blessings, literally. Write them down or say them out loud. Additional meanings for this card. You need to laugh more. <laughs> this is a wonderful time to start a course of study or teaching. Don't be narrow-minded. And I think we have that established here. Start a week of gratitude practice by journaling or blogging or doing what you know to be true to yourself when it comes to that. The teaching, Sagittarius is the sign of fun, travel, exploration, and the great cosmic quest. It's the sign of big ideas. Its energy is expansive, upbeat, lucky, and divine. The new moon in Sagittarius exudes all of this, as does this card whenever you draw it. Nothing is set in stone with Sagittarius and an optimistic energy could attract all manner of good things if you tap into the energy by expecting the best. All right, so Leo Moons, this was your wonderful reading. I'm so glad that um, that was able to be picked up on. I mean, I feel that's a part of what you're experiencing with you coming into more of your power the secrets and all the lies that have been going on for you for far too long aren't able to be hidden in the dark anymore. So I hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope that this reading was helpful for you, enlightening, enriching, and empowering. I thank you all for your continued love and support. And until we meet again, I wish you all the very best. Oh, and welcome to all new subscribers. I love you. Take great care. Peace.